So for this recipe, I have about two cups of white spelt flour, a fourth of a teaspoon of sea salt. You can also use rye or kamut flour as well. And I'm adding a fourth to one third cup of spring water. And I'm also adding in one tablespoon of grapeseed oil. And then you wanna get it all combined until it forms a nice soft dough. And so you should have a dough ball like this. It should be a little sticky and it should be nice and soft. It should be like this. You can add more water if needed or more flour if needed. Then you're going to place it back in your bowl and you want to coat it with one tablespoon of grapeseed oil. You can also use avocado oil as well for this recipe. And then you're just going to cover it again um, with a plastic or a napkin or a towel and you're going to let it sit for 30 minutes and then you're going to knead the dough. So you just want to knead it until all of the oil has completely mixed in and it should be glossy like this. It should have uh, be completely incorporated in nice and kind of glossy dough. You want it to look like this and you'll need that maybe for about two to three minutes to get all of the oil to go into your dough. And after you uh, finish kneading your dough, then you're going to want to separate your dough into smaller dough balls. So for me, I just did about five to six dough balls, put them into another bowl because you want the bowl to be kind of flat because you're going to add one more tablespoon of grapeseed oil and drizzle it over all of the mini dough balls. So you'll have a, you'll use a total of about three tablespoons of grapeseed oil. Although it looks like a lot of oil, in total you're using about three tablespoons. And you're going to cover this with plastic. You're going to let this sit for about two hours minimum. You can even do this um, the night before and let this sit overnight, but you wanna let it sit for, I would say one to two hours minimum up to overnight. And you're gonna notice that your dough balls are going to kind of slightly expand to become really sticky. And um, when you pull them apart, they're gonna kind of stick together. So you're gonna have to really kind of um, get in there and stretch them apart. And what this does is it makes the dough um, easy to spread with your hand. And um, it also makes the dough very stretchy. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and get my dough um, and use my fingers and press this dough out. Um, I was trying to do it here on a little plastic cutting board I had just to let you see. But I found that um, it works easier to have this on top of some plastic saran wrap. So I went ahead and put it on some plastic wrap and just start to spread it out with your fingers. Um, and you can put your, I'm putting my fingers in a little bit of oil that's in the bowl just to kind of make them be uh, more slippery. And you just want to spread it into whatever shape you want. I'm going for like a long rectangle shape. You can do triangle or whatever you want. Um, you just want to spread it out as thin as you can get it. And then go ahead and add your filling. Um, you can use any kind of mushroom, chickpea, a um, little bit of kale, whatever you choose to use for the filling. Um, and then for me, I'm just going to wrap mine kind of like uh, a burrito style. So I'm just showing you how I fold it over. Um, because the dough is sticky, it, it will stick to itself easily. You just have to gently press it. And I'm just letting you see um, how it is. And again, you can do this in any shape that you want. For me, I'm just doing it in like a burrito shape, but you can do it in any shape you want. Um, you just wanna fold it over and just gently press it and it will stick to the other dough. And while you do this, you do wanna have your pan preheating on like a medium, maybe a, a medium low heat. And when you add this to your pan, you will not need to add any oil because of the oil that is already in your dough. You want to just put this on um, just on your pan as is. I prefer to do this with a cast iron skillet because I think that it turns out better. You're going to cook it for about two to three minutes on each side. And I even set it up on the sides and cook it on the sides as well. Like you can see here. 
and um, just a, just a couple of minutes is all it takes for it to be cooked and this is what it looks like when it's done and I'll show you the inside and it's a nice flaky dough and there you have it <laughs>